Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a first impression and overall review of the NYX Cosmetics Professional Makeup. It's now a professional makeup line. This is the Total Control Drop Foundation. So I th actually thought that this foundation was the kind that you put into your uh, lotions. Like, what brand is that? I can't remember the brand, but anyways, you can add it to anything because it's basically concentrated pigment and you can add it to serums and whatnot but this is not like that this is just a dropper foundation and I also didn't know this is a matte foundation so we will see if this works with my skin type because I have combination skin in the winter it's really really dry so we'll see if it works out with my skin right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this foundation and then show you what it looks like on my skin and then go throughout my day and then I think I'm gonna wear it a couple more days before I actually give my final thoughts on this and that way it's not just my initial thoughts because sometimes thoughts can change so let me zoom you in we'll get going with this so it is a really cloudy day today the lighting seems to be okay you can clearly see this pimple but you know what? That's life. Everyone gets them. So you are supposed to shake this a lot. So this foundation was also about, I think it was $14. But I had points, so it was a little bit less expensive for me. This is in the shade Light. I believe this is a neutral foundation. So they also had a brush that you're supposed to buy with the foundation. But I don't want to spend that money, so hopefully it will work the brush that I use so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my elf foundation brush and I'll use this sponge this is from real techniques I'm gonna go wet it down really quick okay I'll try it today without any primer on either side all right so I got my mirror here Let's see if I can zoom zoom you in more nope that's it okay that's fine Alright, so I'm going to start off with this brush, and the packaging says, let's see, on the back it says, if you want light coverage, you do two drops, medium coverage, three drops, and full coverage, four drops. So, I'm going to start off with three drops, and see how full coverage it is. So, this has been shaken a million times. So, this is what the dropper looks like, and one, two, three it's a very runny consistency so I'm gonna grab my brush dip it in just apply that so it definitely feels very smooth I actually can't feel anything on my face right now So that's supposed to be medium coverage, but in my opinion, it didn't really even cover my whole face, not even half my face. So there was no information as far as if three drops will cover your whole face, your half face, a quarter of your face. Don't know about that. It's really interesting this applies extremely light at first and then it kind of seems to oxidize right away oh boy okay so that's three drops and then I'm going to use my sponge sponge on the other side one, two, three, and I'm just going to take the flat side, dip it in here, and apply that all over my face. Okay, so using a sponge definitely makes the product go much further. This is really light for my skin tone. Well, my skin color. But the other stuff that I used. Oh man, I look like I'm wearing a white mask. 
the other color that I used was way too yellow. Originally I got, I can't remember what color it was, natural? Maybe I picked up the wrong shade. Anyways, it was extremely yellow on me, so I decided that was way too yellow, and now this is just really light, especially in the viewfinder. I don't know, maybe once it translates to an actual computer, it won't look so whitish. So the sponge side looks a lot more natural. You can't really see my dry patch right here, and it seems to be very matte. Um, this side is a little bit more dewy for some reason, but you can see my dry patch right here a lot more prominently. I'm going to see how this layers, so I'm going to add another layer of this. I don't know how to explain it. And I did the medium coverage, so I'm just going to grab some more of that and put it on top. So this is definitely more of a flawless look. So I have this breakout right here and now it looks like you can't even tell except for a bump, but it seems to clump a little bit. In my opinion, you can definitely tell that I'm wearing foundation. And to be honest, I just, I try to avoid that. Like I don't like flawless caked on makeup. And it does oxidize. Okay, so maybe I need to change my settings. When I first apply the foundation, it's very, it has a, what looks to be a white cast. And then as it settles in, it'll turn a little bit more creamy. So it'll turn a little bit more yellow in my opinion. So that is okay, I think, for me. I mean, it's not bad, um, but you do need to keep that in mind when you're wearing this foundation. I'm going to see how other products layer on. I personally don't think I need concealer, but for demonstration's sake, I will. I'm going to use this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in 10 light, so I'm going to just barely dot it on there. And I'll use a small brush. Use this flat brush for this side. That seems to blend fairly well. And my heater is going to come on from time to time. So if you hear abnormally loud sounds, that's why. So I'm not going to powder this because it looks already super dry or powdery in my opinion, but you can obviously powder on top of this. I haven't been using powder for a while now. Because my face is so dry already, I don't need to make it even more dry. I'm just going to go on with the rest of my makeup. Okay, so I'm going to take some of my ColourPop blush in Queen Purse, and I'm going to put that on top. So I'm going to take my blush brush, just apply a little bit. Okay, so we have this blush, and I don't know if it's showing up on camera, so I'm going to put on a little bit of contour. This is my NYX Cosmetics Contour Kit, and, well, I'm just going to grab this brush from e.l.f. This is the Pointed Foundation Brush, and I'm going to grab my very famous, well, this is not famous, but this contour color. It is more cool-toned, which works well with the contour color for me. I just want to see how well powders blend on here. Uh, I'm going to take this brush right here. I just used the foundation on it and I'm going to blend that out. Seems to blend out, be blended pretty well. There's a little bit of skipping with the powder and I will say already my face looks very powdery or dry. So this may be a fail. Alright, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back and just this is what my face looks like so far. Okay. 
Okay, so I changed the lighting a little bit. I'm hoping that helps. If it doesn't, I'm so sorry. So right now it is 2.18. I put on my makeup around 1. So I'll come back in a few hours to tell you how it is wearing on my face up close and personal. I will say that this foundation does photograph well in natural lighting. I need to take a flash test really quick. Okay, so it does seem to have a little bit of problems with um, flashback, but I think that also has to do with the color on my face right now. It's very, very, very light. So I will come back to you in a few more hours. Okay, so I hope that this lighting can kind of give you a visual effect of what my hair looks like. <laughs> um, currently it's 9 p.m. Just got back from eating dinner. I had a great time. Um, so you can see up here, here we have a thick application of the foundation into my hairline. I don't know how that happens. Um, and then, let me see if I can get closer. Okay, so here it looks really strange. Um, my foundation breaks up. And this is pretty typical with um, matte foundations. It looks pretty nice out in the outer regions here. And my blush looks pretty good. It's still really clear. Um, but up in my forehead and here and here, uh, it's breaking it has broken up and right in here which is so weird but because of that um, my first impressions are not very great I do look oily but I didn't set my foundation and um, just as a reminder I started wearing this foundation at 1 p.m. today and it is uh, I actually think it's almost 10 right now so that's very good and long wear time. So this side I applied with a sponge and this side with a brush and it looks like the brush side is looking a little bit better. If I just put this far away you can't really tell me I have any problems and then up close you're like oh my goodness. And then of course it wore away on my nose uh, and that's just because I blew my nose. Pretty typical not really a big deal to me. So I will be giving my final thoughts within the next few days. I will so I'm just going to talk about the final things about this foundation. I have a different setup. Uh, the air is on right now, so it might sound a little loud. Sorry about that. But um, so this foundation, I don't think works very well with my skin. Um, like I said, I have dry skin um, on the outer regions. And so I kept breaking up on my skin, even when I added the oil. I did apply this a second time and I put two drops of oil in it. Um, it's like a face oil. And even so, it still broke up on my face. Uh, so this is not really great for me, but I think this would be great for those of you who have more oily skin. And you can just put it on your face and it will last a long time. Even though it was broken up on my face, it did stay on my face for about seven hours it was just broken up um, in, on this area in this area so if you have oily skin and, and you have tried this foundation let me know down in the comments I would love to know how it worked for you and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a huge thumbs up share it and subscribe I hope that you guys have a wonderful day an awesome week and don't forget to make your world a better place I'll talk to you later bye